Good evening. Alright. Today I will show you how I import a notepad uh, into ACL 11. Alright. I show you example here. This is the uh, notepad that I want to import. You see? Look at the format. Look at the format. Alright. These are the header. And these are the names, the state, and the comments, and the limit, and the customer ID. See, it's different format, right? It is very different format. So you scroll down. As you scroll down, you see? See, there's even another one here. You see? Oh, uh, see? So you may have this type of error, this type of problem, all right? So I will show you how you overcome this problem, all right? Now, we open up ACL. All right? Oh, sorry. We open up ACL. All right? Uh, you right-click, new table. All right? <coughs> now you find the file, all right? The file just now is called uh, credit, uh, credit here. Okay, credit limit. Uh, leave it as default as key, of course. Uh, leave it as default. And here we go. Okay. Now, as you can see here, what I'm going to do, look very, very carefully. Right? What I'm going to do now is, I'm going to start with the first uh, header. It's, it's called name, right? Name. Alright, now I'm going to select name. Now, I'm going to start here with the empty fill here because some names may be long. So, that's why I'll start from here and I'll drag all the way here from right to left okay all right now i'm going to call this as name of course okay click okay all right now what we want to do is we want to find an identifier of the all of the occurrences all right now this is one occurrence the next data here is the second occurrence this is the third occurrence university national is the fourth occurrence right so now all of these occurrence we need to find which has which uh, information has the same occurrence as the next one all right so as you can see what you have same you have this double colon here which occurs in co equitable corporation it also occurs in blue atlanta right you see commer also right so now we can choose either one now why um, why do not i want to choose three or 32 because you see the next occurrence it is only 22 there is no 32 so you cannot choose that so we need to choose something which occurs in other occurrence. All right. So now I'm going to choose uh, the. Uh, oops, sorry. I'm going to choose the semicolon, the double colon. Sorry. All right. Oh, sorry. Uh, now I'm going to. Sorry again. Let me try again. Sorry, sorry. Uh, all right. Oh, okay. Let's try the name. All right. And the double colon here. All right. You see. Make sure it is three, okay? Because you have three lines of uh, record here. You see, three each. This is next one is also three, right? Okay. So click OK. All right. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do for address. The next one will be address. So uh, let's let's be a bit uh, easy for just for the sake of this exercise. I'm going to use this as the address. All right. I forget the city and the state. All right. This will be the address address next one will be customer id now this will be the customer id i'll drag a little bit just in case the customer id has more than uh, the one shot here uh, maybe it has six or seven digits so customer id and the comments all right now these are the comments so i will also do a bit more uh, a bigger space for comments just in case they are longer comments down below all right so this is for comments and limit this is the limit all right also i'll give space for the limit just in case there are five or six digits of limit all right limit okay all right now once you're done you click next all right uh, just continue with the default all right yes <clears throat> oh look at that look at that you see it is already easily populating like what you did. see name address customer oh look at it what is this you get comments one and comments two on a separate you see on a separate uh header why is this all right so how do we overcome this how do we make it into one very very easy you go back you click on the comment here edit field you go to relevance comment convert to a single field so that it becomes into one single field not two fields all right you click OK. Now you go next. 
Uh, you gonna save? Yes. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You see? Now it is already in, only in one field. Alright. So this looks good. Make sure it is on ASCII. Alright. We verify again. No limit. Oh, look at that. The limit is in that time. This is wrong. So we want it to be in numeric. So just choose numeric. Alright. And we're done. You see? So we have the name, address, customer ID, comments, and limit. Click next. Alright. Uh, and finish. Just click OK. Oh, look at that. Very, very nice. You see? Comments, limit, customer ID, address, name. Very nice. Very, very convenient. Very, very perfect. Alright. So this is how you import a text file like that into ECL. Okay. That's all for today. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Uh, bye.